new players obviously after starting to coach while they shoot free throws? Uh, obviously a uh, good weekend in uh, New York. Uh, I was really, really proud of our of our guys. I, I, I keep telling you guys how much I enjoy this basketball team. Uh, and, and it's very much the case. Um, I think it's credit to Tevian, his resiliency. Uh, things haven't been easy for him. And yet uh, we started to see him blossom and see his talent. Uh, it was nice to keep him out of foul trouble uh, and keep him on the floor. I thought Allen did some great things. I thought Adonis, uh, even though it doesn't show in the stat line, his activity was uh, uh, was very, very good. His, his physicality put a body on Bruno. And then uh, it was nice to, to, to do what you're supposed to do at the end of the game, which is execute, get stops, uh, and then make free throws. And, and to be noted also, I, Trent Frazier was incredible. Uh, hit the job he did on Anthony Cowan. Uh, we face guarded him. We took him out of it. Uh, we made other guys make decisions, and that put uh, Ayala and some of their other guys in, in discomfort. And uh, that was that was a big reason the, the 21 turnovers. But uh, uh, 35 points off our bench. I thought our guards. Uh, Andres, in particular, did an unbelievable job of tracking down balls. The 50-50 balls became ours, and uh, that that uh, that leads to a win against a very, very good Maryland team. You mentioned keeping Tevian out of foul trouble. Is that what you have been seeing from him since he's been back? That kind of play, but and keeping him on the court even uh, resonated that even further. Saturday. Well, you think about the Iowa game. You think about the first Minnesota game. I mean, he jumps up and hits a shot to start the game. And then he's he's in no rhythm because he's sitting on the bench next to me with with a couple of fouls and and you know a lot of that I attribute to anxiety and nervousness and and just being back. Um, but uh, you know he's starting to be more comfortable. The ball looks great when it comes off his hand. Or he was on balance, and uh, you know that I think the, the one thing that uh, we know is he can he can really run. He's a very good shooter, and uh, that was that was evident uh, Saturday in the Garden. What does it say about him that after the season that he kind of had him being suspended, what does it say about him that he didn't let that kind of beat him down and he still kept working trying to get back in the line? That's what I keep saying about this team. This locker room is full of character guys. And not characters. Guys with high character. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a special moment. It's why you coach is to walk into locker rooms like that after a game and, and, and to have as many losses as we have. And yet be in the lead in, in so many games. We knew we were getting close. We knew we were getting better continually, even though the results didn't always really show that. And uh, it's nice to put that game together. And, and literally, I mean, they're as talented a basketball team as there is in the Big Ten. And, and for us to uh, uh, to do that meant a, meant a lot. And again, it goes to the character of the locker room. Was it just about as, as how you guys won it, you know, closing it down the stretch with the close game and free throws and maybe games that had slipped away previously in the past? Was that more satisfying to see that? Well, it's the way conference games usually go. You know, conference games are usually close. You have to execute. You have to get a stop. And you have to make free throws. And, and uh, uh, you know, you look back one game, the Wisconsin game, that's exactly what Wisconsin did to us. Uh, was execute and make free throws and, and uh, to make stops and and now we were able to flip that and and um, that's what good basketball teams uh, do in conference plays make those plays and and it's it is very satisfying to see that uh, and this team's growing. 63 of the 78 points were scored by somebody who was not in a jersey here last year. What does that tell you? Does it say anything about you know, the time it takes to to gel and come together on the floor over the course of the season? Yeah, it's really hard. And when you're playing at the highest levels and you're playing against teams that, uh, uh, you know, Mark's been in Maryland eight, nine years, and and you start looking at uh, the Wisconsin program, and I'm not just saying Greg, I'm saying, you know, what, what's been done there before. That system's been in place for 25, 30 years, and, and it, it takes time to to develop a chemistry, it takes time to find a comfort, it takes time to find a confidence, and uh, we're starting to see that. And uh, you know, I, it's, it's nothing comes easy in basketball. Everything's really, really hard, and to have those kind of numbers from new guys, 
shows our growth. And I kept saying we would be a better basketball team month by month. The results haven't necessarily shown that, but we have gotten better. And, and you look at our defensive numbers, our defensive numbers have gotten steadily better throughout the year, and that's, that's chemistry and, and, and understanding. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. How do you get Minnesota in their place? I'm sure they're going to be you think? thinking revenge. Yeah, you and think? what's uh, the challenge to, especially this quick of a turnaround since you last saw them? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it can be an advantage uh, having them this quick. It could be a disadvantage. Uh, you know, we, we're, we know we're getting a different Minnesota team than we saw here. And you look at the numbers, uh, the numbers don't lie. They've uh, coffee, um, Gabe, Kalsher, all those guys shoot it better at home. Uh, they play a little faster at home. Uh, so we know we're getting, we're, we're getting a different team. Uh, that's a great challenge for us, and uh, we expect it. And we should be. Uh, we've had two great days of practice, and, and I expect us to go in there, and no matter what the temperature is, and uh, and uh, play our tails off. And that's uh, we've got to bring the fight. Twenty-seven fast break points, most you've had since you've been here. You're twenty-one against Minnesota, but how encouraging you have to take those steps there, and that's a big part of what you want to do. Well, pace is is important, and I you know I think that you know. That's one of the reasons we recruited Tevian. It's one of the reasons we recruited Allen. It's one of the reasons we recruited Io. Uh, you know, those guys can play that way. And uh, uh, when you when we play in space, we're a good basketball team. And, and uh, our turnovers have been limited. Being able to do that, we're making better decisions, playing fast. That's one of the the great challenges. Is is uh, not just with with a new team, but with any team is making decisions when you play with, with speed and pace. And uh, we're getting there. And, uh, uh, you know, we made it difficult for them to play both bigs uh, because Tevian was, was running the court so hard. And he's making shots. And uh, we get the floor space, then we can drive it. And that opened up Tevian and, or, and Io and, and, and Andres in their drives. So, um, yeah, one leads to the other. And I love those numbers. You mentioned how Terry isn't really shy to shoot the ball. He com comes in the game, he essentially starts shooting. Is that kind of that role you could see him playing out, being that guy that's kind of instant offense on the bench for you? Well, he definitely likes to shoot it. Um, and, and it's what, what he does. I think he's comfortable. I think he's uh, – uh, there's, there's not a lot of guys who can do that, who can come in and just instantly feel it and, and, and have the confidence to do that. And, and uh, yet he's – He's very good at it, and when when Tev's on balance, and uh, he's shooting it, he's got such a quick release, and uh, that thing looks great coming off his hand. Every t he's one of those guys that every time he shoots it, you think he's going to make it, and uh, um, we've been seeing that in practice. He's got another level of his game. He's got a great shot fake and and a little floater and pull up, and uh, uh, you know he's a very gifted offensive player. So you know he's got some, he's got some freedoms with that. Seems like Andres was just as if not more important in that game. What's been key for him that he's had a resurgence here last few ball games? First of all, it started on the defensive end for him. He's he's been super active defensively. He's chasing balls down, and uh, you know he's he's a he's a pit bull. You know in terms of his mentality. You know you saw him miss a layup and get one blocked, and then chase a ball down from behind and, and make a tremendous hustle play. And then he turns around, and I think you, you find out his character. You know, it's he and Bruno one on one, and uh, you know he's jumping up trying to dunk that thing over the best athlete in our league, and uh, uh, that's either not very smart or really smart. But uh, uh, but that's his mentality. So uh, you know he's he's playing with a lot more confidence, and a lot more understanding of, of of you know he's not in junior college anymore, and all those drives he had in junior college ended up in layups because there's no size and. And now he's, uh, he's he understands where he can spray it and and when he can finish. So he's um, he's becoming a more confident player as well. You mentioned with Tevian and his foul trouble against you know, Minnesota and Iowa, just that it might have been just uh, trying to find you know, some, some comfort and compounds the court. Did you see anything leading up to Saturday where you thought you know, maybe he had settled in and just found a little, you know a comfortable spot? Or? I don't think there was just one thing. I think it's just been a it's just been. You know, you have to go out there and do it. You have to you have to put the bright lights on, and you have to play in front of people in in the seats. And and you know, you, we've seen the progression every day in practice. We've seen the confidence. He's had 
uh, great practices leading up to that. And so it was just a matter of time. I didn't know when it was going to come. And, um, you know, Saturday happened to be a great day and do it in one of the great uh, venues against one of the best teams in the country. The Big Ten tournament was there last year, but a lot of these guys weren't on that team. So what does the stage like that do for this young team? Well, I, they, they, no doubt they were excited. I mean, you know, Georgie, and when you, you know Georgie's story and you know Samba's story, and Samba grew up playing on dirt basketball courts, and everybody knows of Madison Square Garden. And, and uh, you know, it was, uh, it was exciting the day. I'm glad we got to practice in there uh, the day before. And uh, that was exciting. And uh, every kid dreams of playing in Madison Square Garden at some point. And uh, uh, for those kids to be able to do that was, was special. And, and uh, we'll look to go back as, as often as we can uh, because of that. Uh, it's, that's a, it's a pretty cool deal for these guys. How has Trent maybe grown uh, defensively just in the last year? He's been our best defender all year. And, uh, you know, I think that it, 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 Trent's got great feel. He's got great instincts. And then he's tireless. You know, it's very hard to get Trent tired. Uh, people have no idea how exhausting it is to face guard and chase a guy like Anthony Cowan around. And when you see late in the game, Cowan's, Cowan's tired. And Trent's still face guarding him, wearing him out. Now, does that take away from Trent offensively? Probably a little bit. Uh, he hit the two threes to get us going in the second half. And, uh, and then really it was, it was Dre and Io and Tev doing a lot of the offensive stuff. But we would not have won had Trent not done his, his part defensively. And he's just, uh, he's tenacious, he's ferocious, he's everything that you look for in, in a competitor. And uh, he makes all the plays defensively that you have to to win. Pumped in some rocking like a hurricane at the end of practice. Does that come from your iTunes? No, that's that was that was our sports information director Derek Burson's iTunes today. You know, question a lot of things. He also had YMCA and a few other things on there that had me a little concerned about his well-being. But uh, <laughs> uh, but you know, we try to you know we when we go on the road, we try to make it a uh, uh, high energy, uh, high level. It forces them to really have to communicate without being able to hear and point and talk and huddle. Uh, so we've we've tried to instill a lot of that this year with this group, and um, you know it's uh, there was some there was some rush in there and some there was some good stuff too. You know, all the road environments are tough. What makes that barn unique? Well, it's it, the acoustics in that place are are tremendous as as they are in so many of the old buildings. Uh, you know, just people are on top of you. It's loud. It's it's different because of the, the raised floor, um, but it's. Uh, uh, it's it's there's a lot of, of history and nostalgia. You're talking about a building built in the 20s. Um, I'm a big fan of those buildings, and uh, uh, you know, hopefully there's nobody there. They all stay home from the, from the cold tomorrow. But uh, uh, but I enjoy those buildings. Does it matter to you the going from the negatives here to the difference up there? I know basketball's indoors, but traveling to negative temperatures like that. No, I just you just want everybody to be safe, and uh, you know I, I'm. You know, our immediate concerns are the, you know, the fans and, and, and our travel. And again, we are indoors, and we get, you know, we have a short walk from the bus to the to the arena. Uh, but uh, you know, and then you're worried about it. You know, you're you're, you're flying, and you know, I hope planes are good at 50 below. Uh, but um, that's the most important piece is, is just safety issues. You mentioned the, the floor, Williams Arena. Do you talk to the guys about the fact that you can fall off? Nah, that'd give that'd be that'd be that'd give us one more thing to have to worry about, and uh, there's enough space there. I mean, I guess you dive for loose ball and you're sweaty. You could you could fall off into somebody's lap, but uh, um, you know it, it, it's unique and and it's it's also kind of that big stage kind of feel. And there was a little bit of that in the garden, you know, because it's of the lighting in the garden. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll not get too concerned about falling off. Which is, you know, arguably the biggest one of your tenure that you guys have coming up so far. With the young team, what, what was your message about going, you know, back on the road after a win like that? Well, I, I think it's, it's any. It's the next game. It's, it's, it's about learning. Um, you know, the last time we, uh, 
you know, we, we beat Minnesota here. You know, our next next game wasn't uh, wasn't very good. We didn't handle that very well, and uh, you know now we get a, a team that we're familiar with. Yet we get a team that we know is going to be angry. Um, and it's about the every game, every day mentality. We haven't changed that. Um, and yeah, I want them to I want them to feel confident because we beat a really good Maryland team. And the, you know now it's the next step, which is the the toughness, the aggressiveness to do it again, and uh, and know that the way people look at you may change, and um, you know we we got to respond to that. So we've been good the last two days in practice, so we'll hope that continues. Have you talked to Tim at all about you know, kind of the increased attention that he's received just as a result of his great performance? Nah, I just you know he's I just told him I was really proud of him. You know I was. I'm as happy for that young man as, as, as anybody, and you know, to, to, to go through the natural progression and stick to stick with it. Um, pretty proud of that kid. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank